Hello, it's the Jessica Brahma channel once again. This young man here, Mr. Kobe, has been chatting with minors on the phone. He's been sex chatting with minors and um, he sent them pictures of his private parts. And he also asked them to send him pictures of their own private parts. And unfortunately for him, he's been caught by the UK police and he faces jail and deportation after the case has been handled in the courts. Unfortunately. Yes. 
Well, okay, then you tell me why. Why wasn't you sorry yesterday? I've only been arrested for sexual communication, suspicious sexual communication. I've been on the same thing. 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 I bet you by the time they're going out, over 90% of them will probably be in jail because they are used to this kind of irresponsible lifestyle. They, they have a right. It's their entitlement to deal with women as they like. Bandits who go to villages, terrorists who go to villages, I beg your pardon, and, and, and uh, abduct women and children and convert them to sex slaves. And nothing happens to them, really. Practically nothing happens to them. Young men sleep around with young girls on their street, little minors on their street, and nothing happens to them. So they, when they come to the Western world, it's a shock. It's a big culture shock to them that you just don't mess with minors. They realize it when it's too late. They realize it only when it's too late. And um, unfortunately, I have no tears for Kobe. I have no tears for the likes of Kobe. I pray many of them will come to the UK or go to the US and live and work. And then the law will catch up with them because the law never catches up with rapists and killers and murderers and looters in Africa, unfortunately. This is a very sad story. It's a sad story for Africa. It's a sad story for the wife of this man who's probably waiting to come and join him in the UK. I can't imagine how much they must have spent to get the visa sponsorship. I know how much agents char charge people. They charge them up to 10 million naira for them to be able to come abroad to work. And now the poor wife that must suffer with him to raise the money for him to come here, probably send money home to take care of them, or for them to relocate and join him here, the poor wife would be in pain. He has a three-month-old baby. He should have remembered that when he went chatting online with minors and sending naked pictures of himself to minors.
please subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't.